Welcome to a new series here on the channel. Before we get into it, if I could so kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below, leave a comment on all my other videos, I would greatly appreciate it. Help the channel grow. As you see in the top right, it is July 17th of 1984, and we are the Chicago Bulls. We are in the Magic Bird era, and I do believe that was the finals, if we check it real fast. Uh, NBA history, it was... Yeah, a sweep, actually, of the Lakers over the Celtics. Went ahead and sent the first season. As you see, we are at the NBA draft where we have... Oh, not coaching. There we go. We have the first overall pick, and I promise you we will not be going Charles Barkley. I did load him into the draft class. It is the original draft class with the addition of Sir Charles. You know, I wanted him to be in the game. I will do the same thing for Reggie Miller when, uh, you know, when his draft comes around. We will be going Michael Jordan first overall. I will, you know, that is the one thing I will spoil throughout the entire series. Other than that, you have originally Akeem Olajuwon, who is later known as Hakeem. You have John Stockton. You have Sam Bowie, the bust at number two. You have Alvin Robertson, Gilbert Powell, Otis Thorpe, Kevin Willis, who, you know, if we can get one of the, because we need a big man, you know, I wouldn't mind Sam Bowie, you know, try and, uh, you know, recreate his career at number nine. Sam Perkins, Mike's teammate. Damien McCormick. Uh, is he real? He is not a real prospect. I was about to say, I didn't recognize that name. Uh, Jerome Kersey, Corey Sampson, Curtis Gill, Jay Humphreys, and you can see the rest. There's not a ton of real names in the older drafts, but there's, you know, there's a decent enough amount. And, you know, it'll be interesting. There's another Ewing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if any of these random names can become good players. You know, because maybe they do, maybe they don't. You'll never, you know, we'll never know. Or I suppose we will as we figure it out. But it looks like a lot of the same teams. You know, you got the Bulls, the Rockets, who took uh, Keem at number one. You got the Sixers at five, well, moved up from five, who took Charles. The Trailblazers took Sam Bowie at two. Who was in the number four pick? Was number four John Stockton to the, where are the Jazz at? Oh, the Jazz are at 13, so they will not be getting John Stockton. Uh, or was Otis Thorpe number four? You know, I'd have to go and look. You, some, you think I'd do the research. But that's not the point. John Stockton's not 5'11". Okay, I was like, I know he's at least six foot. But it is, this is a very good draft class. I wouldn't say the greatest of all time, even though it does have Mike. But it's a very historic draft class. Uh, run through the team real quick. I did trade all veterans that were decently good away i wanted to lose as many games as possible i believe we won like 15 games we won 11 games we won we went 11 and 71 so that is the team that mike is coming into we lost our last 28 games i wanted to ensure there we go that we got the first pick over the rockets you know i wanted to give us the best chance as possible and i guess we will Look at the team after the draft. I accidentally clicked on the draft. So drafting now, we are at the 1984 draft. There is a young David Stern. I'm not all the way young David Stern. So it is now our pick, and we will be taking... Oh, Michael is still not number one. So, you know, we could go Charles Barkley. We could go Akeem Olajuwon. Obviously, we're going to go Mike. We could go Sam Bowie, who is at number seven. So he could fall to us at nine. I'm not going to trade up picks. I'm going to let it fall naturally. This is the only one I would have traded up probably. But I think Charles might have went. Oh, Charles is a 90. And everyone else is like mid-8. Ooh, we don't know John Stockton's. I'm going to have to drop Charles down a little bit because he should not be coming in higher than the two of them. I'm going to probably drop him down to about an 85 as well. So it looks like he will go number two to the Rockets. But we will be going Sir Michael Jordan, his airness, at number one. To the Chicago Bulls. Oh, and Chris Broussard, who is probably not born yet, is, uh, you know, reporting the pick. And there goes Sir Charles, number two, to the Rockets. Hakeem will probably go number three to the Clippers, I would assume. Uh, we'll go ahead and do like the first ten. We'll do a couple picks after our next one. Olajuwon goes to the Clippers. So who's going to go to the Is John Stockton? Because I think they need a point guard. So right now, it looks like it's just holding true to the, uh, the top-rated players. 
Ah, uh, there goes Sam. Bo- he still went to the Blazers. That's crazy. So he goes number five. Yeah, looks like no one is really moving up or down. Oh, a trade, though. What is it? Number six for Larry Drew and Don Busey. What? So this is the Kansas City Kings. Ooh, they are no longer the Kansas City Royals. Right, Kansas City Royals. I'm a goofball. But they they go Alvin Robertson. So who who is going to be there at number nine? Hopefully, Gil- oh, someone moved up. Gilbert Powell, who is not a real player, because I don't think very many players had tattoos back in the day, especially a big Michael Jordan tattoo on their arm. Ah, oh, man, I kind of wanted Kevin Willis. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to have our pick, though, of Otis Thorpe. Ooh, are we going to get trade offers? I, just real quick, want a trade finder, our number nine pick. We could get John Stockton. We could get a point guard. Uh, we could get Kevin Willis, who was just picked, and John Carter, who's not real. We could get we could get World Be Free. Ah, he's old though. Could get Cedric Maxwell. And a first. Top three protected. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm pretty sure Bill Walton's still on the clip. I'm pretty sure this yeah, before he went to the Celtics for like the year he did. Uh ooh, and an unprotected first in eighty eight. Uh go Tree Rollins and Ricky Brown. We could get coach Mike Woodson and Mark Olberding. Yeah. That's an interesting name. Okay, you have Byron and Scott in the fir- Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Could go Dale Ellis and Mark West. Get two young players. Darwin Cook in a first. Or Williams and a not real player. Could go Ralph Sampson, even though the Rockets did not pick a Lajuan. So that one wouldn't be super realistic. If they ever took a Lajuan, then maybe I would have thought about it. He's already in 86, though. Dave Corzine, who I believe I just traded away from the Bulls and a first-round pick. We oh, <laughs> we could get Sam Bowie. I kind of want to do Sam Bowie. Because, uh, who you know, at first, who do we got? We got Otis Thorpe, Sam Perkins. Let's go by this. Okay, we got Jerome Kersey, Jay Humphreys, not a real guy. Not a real guy. Otis Thorpe. Yeah, well, let's go back by this. Man, there's not a lot of real players left. And we have Ennis Watley, Michael Jordan. Obviously not these guys. Rod Higgins at the three. Sidney Green at the four. Who's really not bad. He's young. He's only a 72. but. And then we don't have a real center. I want to be able to keep, like, a real player at every position, you know, at least until the draft classes do get more real players. So I think I'm going to do the Sam Bowie pick, or a Sam Bowie trade. I'll add a couple. um, I'm going to add. I'm going to give them. Oh, man, that's a cool mustache, though. I'll give them. Yeah, I'll go Wesley Dunn. You may not trade players. Oh, okay. I I didn't even see that he didn't have a contract. And we will trade Mr. Mustache. Because we're gonna we're gonna pretend like this is before he was a bust. And we'll go back up centers we got. Yeah, we'll trade him. And let's get like a way down the line first. Let's go, actually, let's just go 87. Let's see if we can get 87. If not, I turn the salary cap off just because. I want to make this trade, yes. Uh, Current roster. Okay, well then, we'll just play it as, hey, this is a very high overall pick. And there we go. All right. So now we have Sam Bowie. And And they go Corey Sampson. They got another center. There's a big center. Is he real? Because he looks... Nah, he's not real. Uh, we'll finish out the next few picks, see where the rest of the like, regular players go. Otis Thorpe goes to the Pacers, so we'll see him pretty often. 
Jerome Kersey goes with the Kings. Man, I love them jerseys. All right, who we got? Is there a trade? Yep, I was saying it's taking a while. There has to be a trade. Come on, David. Oh, Bill Walton to the Spurs for number 12 overall. Okay. And they go Sam Perkins. Oh, man. Did he go to the Clippers? No, he went to the Mavericks. Just kind of spitballing at this point. Curtis Gill. There's like one... Hold on. There's like one player left, right? Uh, oh, man. I want to see who's left. I want to say... Uh, maybe every everyone real has been drafted. Uh, I think Jay Humphreys is the only person left. Uh, we'll see if he goes in the next couple picks then. If he goes in the next couple picks, then... Oh, man, James... Why are they trading all their centers away? And there goes Jay Humphreys to the Clippers. We'll finish out the next pick just because I like to have, get on a good round number at 15. And they go Tony Campbell. We will go ahead and send to the end because we do not have a second round pick. And that will conclude the 1984 draft. So at number one, we go Michael Jordan. The Rockets go Charles Barkley. Oh, that's right. I forgot. The Clippers go Akeem Olajuwon. I'm going to fix that number. I don't like that. I assume they have the number 34 at this point. I'm not retired. I wouldn't. I don't think anyone in Clipper history has wore 34. So, yeah, I'm going to change that after I'm done here. Uh, the Sixers go John Stockton. The Trailblazers go Sam Bowie. But then we get him at 9, and they go Corey Sampson. So, it's kind of like a, like a Luca Trey Young deal. The Kings go Alvin Robertson. Hold on. How many picks do the Kings make? Okay, I could have swore I made them make like three picks. I guess it was just two. The Clippers surprise everyone and go Gilbert Powell. He is a 73. That's kind of tough, actually. The Bullets go Kevin Willis. Like I said, the Trailblazers traded with us. We got Sam Bowie, and they go Corey Sampson. So they still got their center, who was a much lower overall, though. Uh, the Pacers go Otis Thorpe. The Kings, Jerome Kersey. The Clippers, Sam Perkins. So now they have a four and a five, and actually two really good ones. Jazz go Curtis Gill, and the Clippers go... Jay Humphreys, they made three picks. That's who it was. Okay, so yeah, they made three and the Kings made two. Uh, let's see if we see another real player. That name sounds real, but it might not be. Uh, a lot of Jeffs. Glenn Terry, Kevin Hall. No. I'll just go from the bottom to the top here. Like we Drake. Uh... Don't see anybody. It'd be nice if the picture is loaded just a little bit faster. Now that one almost had me. I don't... See, man, the Mavericks got a lot of second round picks. I don't see any other real ones. Okay, so this is probably one of the one like only ones with not a lot of real players. Maybe a couple of the uh, older ones, you know, along with this one. But there you see it came with the nice bow tie there. With, ah, see, we didn't have mustache David Stern. That's what I was looking for. But yeah, we we are going to take both of them. And then no player team or player options. And that I, Was that even a thing back then? And I'm not going to offer any of them. All right, so looking at the team before we go to free agency, I'm not going to make a lot of... Oh, we need to fill the team out, actually. I'm not going to make, like, you know, uh, let's just see who's there, for example. Like, I'm, uh, hmm. no, I'm thinking of John Paxson. Not going to get Jim or Joe Barry Carroll. We could get Bill Cartwright. They did bring in Bill Cartwright, but we have Sam Bowie, so we don't need him. Like, I'm not going to get David Thompson or Bob Lanier or, you know, I'm not going to get a bunch of top guys and just be like, oh, well, now we're really good. I, I want to build, like, I want to build the roster. So, so, I mean, they competed, but they weren't very good. But, you know, we're going to rock out with Ennis Watley for now, probably. Uh, you know, Mike at the two, Rod Higgins at the three, we're going to give him a shot. Also, Mike already has an A plus three. I just, I thought I saw that, and I was very confused. Sidney Green at the four, and Sam Bowie at the five. Ooh, number 54, I don't like that either. 
but we'll probably just fill out the roster. Nope, there we go. So we'll get like we'll get some backups. Speaking of Mike Dunleavy, Mike Dunleavy Jr. is the new GM of the Warriors. I don't know if anyone saw that. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, and I I really want to try and get real players, but if it's gonna like make my team super good, I'm just gonna kind of deal with it. Probably don't need a backup for Mike. That's very good. Ooh, Fred Brown fits our system very well, though. He's 35, actually, so, I mean, just get him for, like, a year. Paul Westfall. Uh, we'll go Ron Brewer, because Ronnie Brewer was a, a bull. We'll go one year to Ron Brewer there. Get a backup for Rod Higgins. Yeah, not... The, these guys would all start over him. Ooh, Campy Russell. I know that name. Uh, We'll go. We'll get our own bird. Uh, he has an offer. Yeah, we'll go. Go with this guy then. Okay, we didn't offer the contract. Never mind. What was that Hall's name? Steve Hawes. I don't know why I immediately thought Spencer Hawes. Is there even any real power forwards? Oh, Elvin Hayes. That's it? Man. Bullets legend. Uh, we'll go We'll go the young guy. That's a big power forward. Actually, Ed Neely's a real guy. We'll go Ed Neely. And then let's see if we can find a center. Hmm. So I want to get someone who's tall. But I don't want to get someone who's like super overpowered either. And then, oh. We could get Rich Kelly because that just goes with the timeline. Well, you know what? That's what we're going to do, actually. And we're just going to keep offering, offering one-year contracts. And why are we declining? You know what? Let's just bring all these guys back. And that's going to fill our roster out, I think. Well, that... Hold on. Where are we at here? So, yeah, we've got backup point guards. I think one of them was a shooting guard. One was a small forward. Honestly, we could probably get by with just... Getting whatever is left over. Uh, we'll go Evan Harrington here. Oh, man, he can't shoot at all. Uh, he's a good defender. We'll just do that. And then we will check and see. Man, there's still a lot of big names. Who has signed? Jim Paxson goes to the Lakers. Joe Barry Carroll to the Warriors. David Thompson to the Spurs. But what? Bill Cartwright to the Trailblazers. Daryl Henderson and T.R. Dunn to the Celtics. Robert Reed to the Pacers. Alan Leville to the Suns. George Johnson to the Bullets. Elvin Hayes to the Hawks. George Johnson to the Hawks. We got Ron Brewer and then these two goofball-looking dudes. Horace McLeod to the Bucks. And these aren't real players. Do we have a full roster? So we've got three, seven already. Nine, eleven... 14. I think that's I think that's as many as you need. Ooh, they could challenge each other for minutes, actually. That's not bad. Alright, you know what? I actually like our team. We... Is there any real guys? Oh, I do kind of want to see where the last few people here go. Oh, well. Bob Lanier just went somewhere. He went to the Jazz. Uh, did anybody else... Tiny Archibald went to the Pistons. Did Elvin Hayes already go to the Hawks? Yeah, I think he already went to the Hawks. Uh, somebody else signed, I just feel like. Maybe not. And then we... Oh, then there was the last one I do. I don't really care about Campy Russell, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it was another guard. Paul Westfall. He went to the Suns along with Alan Louisville. So that'll be a solid little team. All right, we're going to straight 
to player progression. And then, yeah, we'll go ahead and send the rest of it, I guess. So Mike is going to be our best player at 85. Sam Bowie at an 80, and it's Watley at 79. Rod Higg Higgins is up to a 75. Sidney Green is a 74. Ron Brewer stayed the same. And then our random players got a little bit better. And, oh, man, Ed Neely didn't get any better on whoever. Where did he play first? The Kings. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. So it is going to be a rough season. Oh, man, big old Jeff Ruland is an 89, and Jeff Malone is an 80. That would be a good team. I still don't understand how this team was the fifth pick in the draft and fourth in, in this draft. So the new best player in the league is now Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, down to a 90. Why is Larry Bird going down? I have injuries turned off. Moses Malone is a 95. Isaiah Thomas is up to a 95. I don't know why, but I thought that said Pistons too. Mark Aguirre is up to a 92. Sidney Moncrief, 91. Kareem, close to retirement, is down to a 91. Dominique is up to a 90. Adrian Dantley is a 90. Charles Barkley, I'm going to take him down a few overalls. Uh, George Gervin is down to a 90. I could look to bring George Gervin in like the Bulls did in real life. Probably not, though. Jeff Rulin, like I said, up to an 89. Robert Parrish down to 89. Irving, McHale, Bernard King, Alex English, Kiki Vandewee. Vandewee? Is it Vandewee or Vandewee? I don't know. Rolf Sampson, Terry Cummings, all in 88. Man, there's a lot of actually good players. Oh, but man, it's just plumbers and mailmen, huh? I'm, I'm not even going to play into it. I'm not going to lie. But a lot of good players. It'll be, I think this will be a fun series. Oh, I got to progress. Here we go. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go to the All-Star City selection. And we're going to New York. All right, we're going to the Garden. That works for me. And we will use the 1985 draft class. Uh, I'll look and make sure that everyone's in it, like big names at least. So next episode, our first game, we will be playing opening night against the Washington Bullets at Chicago Stadium. We are $338 million in the hole. But you know what? I think having Mike and Sam Bowie, I think we are going to turn that around very quickly. And I think it's going to be, I think this is going to be a really fun series. Uh, I did this one because I don't know how I want to do the Spurs series, seeing as they did get Victor Wimbanyama, quote unquote, but they got the number one pick. I might keep that one going as is, and I might start a different franchise. Now, I think we might just restart the Spurs or keep it going. That, that's something I want to know down in the comment section below, whichever one you want to see. Uh, and, you know, we'll try and go go with that. But because, I mean, I am having fun with our current team. And, you know, we already did send through an entire season. But I could go ahead and do... Uh, you know, the, the updated teams. Because, I mean, now the Suns have Bradley Beal. You know, Kyrie's going to maybe re-sign with the Mavs. But I think until the next UK comes out, I think we'll just rock and roll with this team. And then, obviously, we'll do a new franchise uh, next, you know, next UK. But if you want to see, you know, the updated rosters, updated teams and stuff, let me know. Leave a like on this one if you're enjoying it. Leave, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Check out the other videos on the channel. You know, try to pump them out pretty consistently. Uh, you know, sometimes things pop up and it's just hard to do, you know, when this isn't really my full-time job right now. So, you know, got to gotta do my actual job first. But, you know, I love doing this, so I try and do it as often as possible. And, you know, I hope you guys do what you enjoy, chase your dreams, and I hope y'all are having a blessed day, and I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace.